Hi guys, in today's video I want to answer one of the most common questions beginners ask almost every day. How long should the footage be for a perfect speed ramp? There's no strict limit on the length, unless the clip is extremely short, like 3 to 5 seconds. Usually, 8 to 10 seconds of footage is enough for a smooth, casual speed ramp. The key is how you shoot the video, not how long it is. For example in this case, I'll be filming the pump of my PC. I won't focus on counting seconds like 8 or 10, instead, I'll try to shoot as smoothly as possible by moving gently toward it. Never rush or run toward the object you're filming. That'll make your video too short and harder to work with. Here are two examples of the same video. In the first one, I move quickly, and in the second one, I walk gently. The footage is the same, but you can judge which one is better for speed ramping. The fast one is only 3 seconds long, which I can't really use for speed ramping, while the smooth one is 7 seconds long, which is perfect and completely usable. Shoot smooth, calm footage, walk slowly, and you'll usually end up with around 8 to 15 seconds of usable video which is perfect for speed ramping. Remember, the key is to find the best angle and move smoothly and steadily. Let me show you one more example of how to shoot for speed ramping. As I mentioned earlier, I'll be filming the pump of my PC. I'll focus on it, making sure the pump is fully centered on my phone or camera screen, and then begin walking smoothly toward it. Once you're done, you can continue shooting with the same technique until you have enough footage and are ready to edit. If you're new to After Effects or editing speed ramps, make sure to check out my full speed ramp tutorials in the description below. I hope I've answered your question as clearly as possible. If this helped, please don't forget to like the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.